Oh no. Oh my goodness. Twitter drafts, broad job layoffs, and Elon Musk's first week as owner. Recession incoming. Ah! World War 17. It's not worth learning how to code. No more jobs. It's over. It's all over. Don't learn how to code. Why bother? Better to just stay where you are. Developers, there's a lot of negative sentiment going on right now on this internet. And today I want to offer a little bit of perspective, some additional perspective. Now, this is just my opinion. Some of these doom and gloom warnings are not without merit or facts backing them up. However, I have here a little handy chart that might illuminate some of these issues. So if you Google tech layoff, there's really no shortage. There's 13 million plus results. That took 0.53 seconds, by the way. But if you go through these headlines, there's there's really no shortage, okay? Silicon Valley this, Silicon Valley that, tech giant cuts nearly a thousand jobs, Microsoft in 2022, just from this month, from boom to gloom, tech recruiters struggle to find work. You're gonna see some of the primary characters that we always hear about, Meta, AKA Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, the Fang companies, Silicon Valley, and especially a lot of these startups. Now, is this something that you should be concerned about as a future developer or maybe even as a current developer? I would I would say so. You know, this does affect our industry, obviously, the most prominent areas of our industry, one may argue. But here is what I'd like to show you. This is the federal funds effective rate. The federal funds effective rate is a very important chart because it's it reflects a critical benchmark in the financial markets. So if you or a company are trying to get a loan, this percentage is going to affect you greatly. Now, these little grayed out areas are when we had an official recession according to the US government, okay? So the great financial crisis of 2008, we had the interest rate in May 2007 of 5.25%. Then as we entered this recession, this great financial meltdown, these rates plummeted. When the rates plummet and go down, it's very cheap to borrow money. And for many years, these rates were below 2%. We had the cough cough Aunt Rona plunging these rates again to try and stimulate the economy. Look at this rate, 0 0.07. So again, the lower this number is, the cheaper it is to borrow money because this is an interest rate. And this isn't the direct rate that companies will get, but this reflects so many aspects of borrowing and lending in the financial world. So what I'm saying is with these startups, during these years, okay, if you started to learn how to code in 2012 and then started looking for a job in 2013, 2014, it was oozing with jobs because for a business, for these startups, it's very cheap to borrow startup money. It's very cheap for investors to borrow money. It's very cheap for anyone with decent or even not okay credit, if you can do some smooth talking, to borrow money, sometimes millions and even billions of dollars, depending on the company. So for all of these years, these startups, especially in Silicon Valley, they weren't making money. I don't think Twitter, when it was a public company, ever posted a profit. It didn't have to because these rates were super low. Money was super cheap. They could continue to grow and hire developers until we reached 2019 and there was a little bit of a fit there was a tantrum and so this rate went back to zero and during 2020 2021 we saw the greatest bull market ever in history and all this stuff people are probably wondering rtc what the heck does this have to do with developer jobs everything because this chart is shorthand for how much it costs to start and expand businesses i.e tech employers so yes so let's go in here so now you can see august july august oh my gosh here we go it's it's suddenly up so now we're seeing september 2022 the rate is 2.56 these companies are having to shed a lot of employees this is in my opinion a tale of two employment realities because on one hand these companies that aren't turning a profit 
all of a sudden are in a tough place because it's no longer cheap to borrow money to expand and grow their companies. On the other hand, if you go to Indeed and type in JavaScript, in the USA, there's 88,000 job openings, 88,000 plus, and this is one job board. Okay, this is one job board, and I typed in one term, JavaScript, 88,000 plus openings. Do you think this might be a tale of two employment realities for web developers, software developers, software engineers, etc.? If you're trying to get into a FANG right now, it might be a little tougher. If you're trying to get into a non-FANG, which is the vast majority of these 88,650 jobs, it's business as usual. So please, developers, yes, I know we are living in uncertain times, but if you give up on your dream right now, you're giving up years of your life when years later you're like, wow, maybe I should learn how to code. You know what I'm saying? Start, just start, just do 10 minutes today. Do 10 minutes of coding today and get it out of the way and then try doing that tomorrow. Try doing a little more. There are jobs waiting for you, whether you're new in the industry, whether you have 20 years experience, there are jobs out there. So many of these tech skills are future proof. But RTC, it's World War 17 coming. Listen, we've had two prior, we've had two big ones prior to what everyone's talking about right now. And we still have all these tech jobs. So worst case scenario, listen, I'm an optimist. Worst case scenario, even afterwards, you're gonna need to find a job. So I know it's easy to get discouraged, but just look around, especially in your local area, there are jobs out there for you. Some of these companies have never been profitable and now they have to pay the price. Some of these companies took on more debt that they can handle and now they have to pay the price. If you go looking for jobs though, they're still gonna be popping out at you. These layoffs are certainly affecting certain sectors of this industry more than others. So my advice, don't be consumed by the fear. If you wanna get into this career field, it's always the best time to get in this career field. It, tech skills are always relevant, even if we're blown into the Stone Age part two. So get coding, ABC, always be coding. I'm RTC, sign up for our newsletter. I have some industry insights, some great platform suggestions, as well as some pretty big mistakes I made as a beginning coder. That's over at our website, realtoughcanny.com. There's also a link popping up and in the description box on this video. I like to give you guys options. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.